welcome to this week's vlog. Where are we, Jam? Um, I don't know. We're on the outskirts of um, Royal um, Leamington Spa. You got it right this time. <laughs> Thank goodness. That's right, Jam. We're heading to Royal Leamington Spa and then Warwick because I'm not sure where Leamington Spa. Why are you spa... bending down like that? It's on the same size as you. Stand up, you Wally. Can you see me? That's better. <laughs> anyway, we're heading to Royal Leamington Spa. Yeah. And then Warwick. In fact, I'm not sure where Leamington Spa ends and Warwick starts, but there you go. And then when we get to Warwick, we're going to take you to a little place. We, last time we went to Warwick, we were at Noel Wharf having the boat fixed. And we went to Warwick, but we drove there. So we've never been there by, well, we have been there by canal, but we've never been to this secret place. What secret place? I'm not telling you. Secret. <laughs> Actually, it's not, I a, don't know. it's not a secret. We went there years ago when we had our shared boats. Haven't been back since, but always said oh we'd like God. to go. It's like 12 years ago. Yeah, we'd like to go back there because it was a lovely little, friendly little place. Somewhere to moor quietly out of the way. I better look on the map, I think. And we'll take you there. You're scrouching again. You're looking no, like sorry. something out of... Ah, Esmeralda. Well, oh. <laughs> the hunchback. Right, come on. Anyway, enjoy today's vlog. We've got three locks to do today before we descend, well we are descending into Royal Leamington Spa. We did wait at the top for a good half an hour or so, 40 minutes while we were filming that little intro to see if anybody was coming up because obviously we don't like wasting water especially in these locks but there was nobody coming up but funny enough we've just entered the lock and damn me there's a boat coming up. Well never mind. That hopefully will mean that the other two locks are in our favour. Doesn't always work like that, of course. We can but hope. Not, of course, that we're in a rush. We just want to enjoy a little bit of Royal Leamington Spa. Now, if everything's all tickety-boo and working as it should be, then the boat that's just gone up, we've just passed, as we came out of that lock, the first lock, this one should be ready for us. Jan might have to just fettle the water a little bit because these gates do leak. It does look indeed like Jan's doing a bit of fettling. I do love that word. I don't know if you've ever heard that word before, fettling. It's just another word for fiddling, I think. It's a northern word. Somebody will tell me the origins of it somewhere.
Last lock, Janet. Then he can get the kettle on. Is it? I don't know. Morning all. Well we've been here for the last couple of nights. Not too bad. I mean it's a bit noisy. We're obviously next to the car park for a supermarket but uh, that has its advantages because you can think at six o'clock at night oh I need some more tomato ketchup. <laughs> uh, but yeah actual Leamington Spa itself the town centre is that way so by Bridge 40 I believe if you're more up around there that will get you into the town centre. This area is sort of more like shops, uh, supermarkets, uh, DIY stores, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, the big out of town places. And there is some moorings here with rings and some rubber armco. Hmm. Very good though. But now we must get off to our secret location.
the first of two locks. We're going up now. We've gone as far down as we can. And this is the start of the ascent through Warwick and obviously up the Hatton Flight, which we're not going to do today, thankfully. So it's Jan. We've just got these two to do and then we'll slip into our secret little location. Although I'm sure it's not secret anymore, I think you've all guessed. But yeah. So technique's going to be slightly different for this one. This will be back to where we were before, which is centre rope round a bollard. Hold on tight while we let the water in. So this is the second lock. Slowly through the gap, Tony. Yeah, go on.
Yes, here we are at the Saltis for Arm. We came here on Sapphire and we moored up just behind here. This is the Winding Hole, by the way, but there are some more moorings past there. And then behind us is the road into Warwick Town Centre. There's a Sainsbury's up there as well. So, yeah, fantastic. There we go, there's a visitor centre here. You can have a look at the history, get some books, and obviously there are visitor moorings, if you're lucky. The Saltisford Arm, as you see it today, has not always been an arm. In the 1790s, it was the start of the Warwick and Birmingham Canal. In 1895, there were two canal companies, the Warwick and Birmingham and the Warwick and Napton. They merged to form the Grand Junction Canal Company, and the canal eventually became the Grand Union Canal. The arm's primary purpose was to act as a terminus in order for boats to transport their goods to the nearby town centre of Warwick. Over the remaining years, when trains overtook the canals as a source of transporting goods, the arm was left and parts of it were built on. In 1982, with the fear the remaining part of the arm would be filled in for development, a group of volunteer canal enthusiasts sought to restore it and set up a charitable trust to do just that. They spent the following six years with further work done in 2007, helped with grants from the Inland Waterways Association, turning it into what you see today. The trust is self-financing and receives no help from government. Several families live here and of course they welcome visiting boaters. They've also added a smart meeting room. Can you remember being here before? No. No. To okay. put it bluntly, no. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was years ago when I was probably looking after the girls. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I think we all walked into Warwick, though, at the time. No. No, you can't remember that either. No. Oh, well, so there we go. Anyway, it's a lovely little arm, lovely place to moor up. There's a few visitor moorings. Obviously, it's primarily for liverboards. There's some families here. Lots of people call this home. Yeah. Lovely little community. Lots of green areas. Laundry you, facilities. Laundry facilities, yeah. L sound, pump outs, all the usual stuff. And visitor moorings, um, you've got electricity hookup, which you pay for separately. Um, a little shop with all yeah. canal. Canalia. Yes. Is that and what also you call it? Canalia, yeah. Canalia. And, and essential boaty bits and bobs yeah. that you might need on your travels. I love it. It's very That's nice. A lovely place. And obviously, it's only a hop, skip, and a jump into the town. And the uh, supermarkets yeah, not far yeah, away yeah uh, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg like some marinas do or some moorings do uh, it's even cheaper if you become a member of the Saltisford Arm Trust yeah there's the information there you see it's all there yeah you get a nice little leaflet when you yeah. arrive lots of information and history and stuff yeah hope you've enjoyed this particular vlog if you have don't forget a thumbs up for a like that's right <laughs> You're very enthusiastic, dear. I know. I love it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's totally free to do so. It doesn't yes, cost you anything. Come on, come on. Yes, we're moving up somewhere. I don't yeah. know, as M people would say, moving on up. And then oh. don't forget to press the bell icon. Ding! There we go. Uh, that was a Warwickshire ding, wasn't it? He's got me one. sitting on a cushion because I'm too small. Yeah, bless. It's like a child. Sorry. Anyway, I you know what you. happens. You know what happens when you press that bell icon. YouTube notify you next time we upload a vlog. In the meantime, Hatton next week. Ugh. <laughs> but not before we have a look at Warwick Castle. Oh, yeah. That's next week. In the meantime, stay safe, everybody. Happy cruising. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.